Hello and in this video we are going to learn how to change the case or the capitalization of a particular word in words find and replace. So uh, you can see here that I'm working on a case study for a client. It's actually a bank and being bank or the abbreviation is AB Bank. And you can see here that the name AB Bank is all in capital letters and this is not what our client wants. They only want the first letter to be capitalized so A could be capitalized and then they want everything else to be in lower case okay so how do we do that now whenever we face this kind of problem most of us could press ctrl h to open the find and replace dialog box so in the find box ab bank yes and then we would try to replace with ab bank with only the first letter in uppercase and then the remaining in lowercase and then press replace all all right but it doesn't work everything is still capitalized now, why is that the case? By default, everything in find and replace is not case sensitive. So in order to make it case sensitive, all we need to do is to check this option, match case, and then click replace all. All right, now it will work probably. And you can see that the AB bank is now in the perfect case that we want. And this is very useful when you're working with company names or a product name that has some kind of weird um, case specialization to it. For example, I'm working on another case study with another bank, but the way they want the name to be capitalized is quite weird. So it's like this PV call bank. So the first two letters is capitalized and then the B in bank is also capitalized. So in this case, just press replace or make sure that you do match case. Oh, it doesn't work because AB bank is now been in lowercase. So AB bank and then replace it with PV combine match case all right now now everything will work properly and you can have any kind of case capitalization that you want what find and replace will understand and return you with exactly what you want so i hope you found this video helpful that's it for now happy learning and see you in the next video